Hey everyone, welcome back to another video over the Wreath Network on Try Hack Me. Today we're going to be taking a look at Task 30, Command and Control Empire Modules. As mentioned previously, modules are used to perform various tasks on a compromised target through an active Empire agent. For example, we could use Mimikatz through its Empire module to dump various secrets from the target. As per usual, let's start loading modules in both Empire CLI and Starkiller. Uh, so first things first, I'm actually going to go ahead and generate another stager quickly. Uh, for this, it is just going to be a multi-bash uh, because I'm going to get a listener back from our first compromised host, the web server. Uh, this is particular, or specifically because I am having issues in my specific network with getting uh, things back from the, uh, the get server. So don't worry too, too much with that. Um, you can ignore this listener here. This is just an HTTP listener. Um, you can select any. Uh, it, those listeners can just receive that connection fairly simply. Very, very easy to get this done. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and generate that. And we will go ahead and copy that. And I am going to go to... Uh, let's see. I want my SSH. Um, which is running here. Uh, I don't actually want to kill that, so we're going to clone this and sudo su and cd loot web server ssh and we'll run that to actually connect back in. And now I want to actually open this up real quick in... Uh, actually, no. We can do this in... A normal document so nano uh, dark dash uh, listener or dark dash dash stager dot sh and we can go ahead and paste this in and there we go chmod plus x dark stager and then I'll go ahead and run that and we should have back another wonderful listener here in a moment there we go. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pop this out, and I'm going to use this one as my example, just because it's a little bit easier. And if you want to play around with this, this is what I would recommend doing, just because sometimes the Git server can be a little bit finicky. Uh, and then a lot of that's just because of the routing. So starting with the Empire CLI, uh, inside the context of an agent, type the use module and press tab twice. Make sure you have a space here at the end. As expected, this will show a huge list of modules which can be loaded in. And we can see that here. There's just tons of them. So very easy. It doesn't really matter here as we already have full access to the target for the, but for the sake of learning, let's try loading in the Empire or Sherlock Empire module. Uh, this is more useful on Windows. I won't be able to do that on the Linux client here, but we can do something else. Uh, let's see. We can do a hash dump command. So let's go ahead and submit that. And we can see that it gets queued for execution on that agent. Uh, so we can go ahead and let that run. So as previously, uh, we can use info to get information about the module after loading it in. Um, and here we can see that we got back that information here. Just takes a moment, and that's just because the agent has to check back in and see if there's anything that it needs to do. Then it receives what it needs to do, runs it, and then sends it back. And we can see that over here. Very cool, though. So we can see that we can use the info command to get more info about it. Um, in this case, it is going to show that more info when we hover over it here. Uh, this module requires one option to be set, the agent value. This is already sent for us because we entered the module from the context of the agent we wanted to use it on. And we can see that that happens automatically with Starkiller as well. If we had chosen this module, or to use this module without first interacting with an agent, we would need to, uh, need to set this option. This could then be set using the command set agent and then agent name. So similar to Metasploit, very easy. We start the module using the usual execute command. The module will then run as a background job, returning the results when it's completed. So you can see that it just issues that. And again, it's that waiting for the agent to check in so that it can send the job to it. If we know approximately what we want to do, but don't know the exact path to a module, we can use the search module command to look for it. For example, Search module WinPs gives us a location of the inbuilt WinPs module. We can do the same thing in Starkiller. 
first we switch over to the modules menu which we can see that we've done uh well we could switch to the modules menu here it's a little bit easier to do within the context of the agent so i recommend just doing that uh, in the top right hand corner we can search for our desired module actually here we'll pull this up so if we go here for modules we can search for example linpees and it looks like that's not any of them maybe winpees there we go so we can see that here and if we want we can run that but we'd have to set the agent again so here they're searching for sherlock uh click on the module uh click on the play button at the rightmost column to select the module from here we click on the agents menu and then select the agents to run the module through so note we can run this on multiple if we want to uh, which is really helpful if you get access to a whole bunch of them for example like from a phishing campaign uh, that you have access to a lot of different things and then you click submit after you fill out the required options to run the module to view the results we need to switch over to the reporting section of the main menu on the left side of the window you can see that down here and we can see everything that's running so uh, from here we can see the task we just ran showing the agent in use the event type command user and a timestamp and you can see that just up here Clicking on the drop down arrow on the left gives the task results. Let's go ahead and see. Looks like that one is one of them that did not complete. I'm going to see if I can find my one that just ran. There we go. So here we can see the agent that I ran this on, the task ID, the task type, the task command, who ran it. So my user, Empire Admin, and then the timestamp. It'll give you the full timestamp over there. So you can see all that and then there you go that's going to do it in this case you can see that i've collected the results of dumping etsy shadow and that's because this is running in the context of root so we are all set read the above information and try to experiment with the empire's modules available again if you want to experiment with this just do it on the uh the first server that we compromised it's a lot easier to get working sometimes it just can be finicky on the other one you can get it to work um it just takes a little bit of patience Otherwise, we'll mark that as completed, and that is going to do it for this video. In the next video, we're going to go over task 31, the conclusion of the command and control section. But until then, happy hacking!